it turns out that when you're asked to, to pick your favorite child, you're expected to choose among your own. I know that now. Welcome to Shave and Butcher for another shave with William's Mug Soap. Yeah! Um, I watched uh, Justin the Red Island Shavers tutorial that he made for me and for the world. Um, so what I did was I, I grated a whole pack of William soap into into a mug. I grated a little bit before yesterday morning um, because I knew he has that advice. But he said, no, nah, you got to do a whole pack. So I did a whole pack mixed with water, made a slurry, pressed everything into a pack and now it's drying. So tomorrow, Friday or maybe Saturday, I can use it. It's still pretty wet, still pretty mushy. Um, meanwhile, I need to shave. So. Uh, and it's William's Mug Soap Week, so I'll shave with what I have left of the of the um, original pack. I've used quite a bit. The dog is here, and the mailman is on the way, so there might be action in a while. Brush that has been soaking is is a beautiful one. It's wet now, but it's, it's lovely. It's it's from Meles from Manchurian, and it's a large beautifully soft badger so why not use a badger right um, most people say use a synthetic with the williams or you know the og guys the old school guys they use uh, they use boar like a small old boar it doesn't matter you can lather williams with, with anything uh, i possibly had too much water in it we'll see i think you're supposed to whoosh whoosh the water out of the brush i kind of forgot so it'll be too wet as as per bloody usual um but yeah thank you justin for making uh, for making the the video so we'll, we'll be using that and it appears that basically apart from apart from great micro grating the, the pack oh god soap everywhere and um um, yeah, apart from doing that, he's loading pretty much in the same way as, as I typically am. Um, maybe with a heavier load, so so I am loading quite heavily and I have way too much water and that's, that's a shame. <laughs> Shit. But anyway, loading heavily and then just, he applies in a similar way that, that I do. Yeah, so this happened. So there's loads of stuff. But a lot of this is, is foam. I'll just take some of the foam off and shake that off. Um, quite possibly it's properly loaded, who knows. But uh, cool. Thank you all for your kind advice. The advice, as I alluded to a bit in the previous video, the advice goes in slightly different directions. So it is kind of hard to follow and my brain is a bit overloaded. It's going to wet the face. So I probably am overthinking it. It's a tricky soap to load and you may not always be successful, but you will from time to time. And then that's good. Yeah, so I'm just loading it as usual. I have been getting good shaves actually. Pretty, pretty good, pretty damn good shaves. I find the soap is a bit drying on the skin. But it's slick, it's quite enough. It, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's slick enough to use, even with a, a straight razor or a shavette, which takes a bit longer for me to use than a, a double-edged safety razor. And um, I'm getting good shaves, you know, I, I could live, if, if Williams was the only soap in the world and I had to choose between an electric razor or a traditional razor and Williams, I'd still use a traditional razor. Put it that way, you know, even though I'm not a big fan of the soap. So, yeah, that's just usual, usual toothpaste kind of sensation, no foam really, 
and we're gonna watch it disappear. <laughs> um, I was watching, uh, no, I wasn't watching, I was listening to radio and I didn't listen to the game. But in the Olympics, the USA were playing um, <laughs> Australia, maybe, or I can't remember, I think maybe Australia, in basketball. And uh, um, the US are better, but they were kind of losing. So it was a rather funny radio journalist, sports journalist on the radio, just going to dip the tips a bit. Um, who said, yeah, and then the American coach turned to Kevin Durant, I think. Is he the big, the big star? Turned to Kevin Durant and said, Kevin, we need some of your magic. And it appears Kevin applied his magic, especially his magic wrists. Oh boy, those wrists are so soft. I'm sure a whole family of, hang on, I'll just get <laughs> Um, a whole, I think a whole family of pygmy marmoset live in those wrists. <laughs> and I have to Google that. In Swedish it's Devari Silkes Apa. And apparently they're very soft. I don't know. Okay, just a bit more agua. It's so easy to take too much water and then you ruin everything. It just collapses basically so I'm just painting that in just like I would, would do normally and then a bit of splaying action um, the Olympics are good it's on crazy time for Europeans I, I think for most people apart from people in Asia because it's in Japan so it's in the middle of the night but uh, sometimes you get a bit I'm, I'm watching the women's final in football soccer and that's except if they change the time which they're talking about doing because it's so hot in the middle of the day that would be 4 a.m uh, my time european time that's really early <laughs> jesus that is really early um then again i've been up I set the clock for that time quite a few times in in the spring during Stanley Cup playoffs in hockey. So there we go. It's actually reasonably stable. It feels a little bit dry, but I don't know how much I want to push it. I'm going to dip one more time, and that may, may be the last straw that breaks back of the camel you never know where the lather just goes i mean i i hear myself saying using some classy artisan soap saying oh this soap can take a lot of water you know what almost any artisan soap taking water you know don't come here talking about taking water. It's ridiculous to even compare to this thick little thing. It's going to be the Rolls Razor today from that I got from Rich Ashcroft. So here we go. Hands are a bit shaky, but we're doing okay. This is such a cool razor. <laughs> I've never seen anyone use this. And I'm pretty shit at using it. But it's fun. Hang on. Concentrate. hard to get everything under the nose. Uh, it's dissipating a little bit, but it's reasonably stable. There we 
go. Voila. And you know, it's, it's not like it's falling off the racer, but hang on, come on, humor me, humor me. Can you, can you see at least it's shaking? Fall off, bloop, boom, shakalaka. Williams, piece of cake. Now, yeah, using this does not come very natural for me. Because <laughs> it feels like using a straight racer. But the motions are more like a, like a safety racer. So I'm, I'm not getting terrific shapes out of it to be perfectly honest, but that's only a technique thing. Okay, okay, pass number one. Let's see if there's anything left in the brush. I'm gonna, yeah, nice and slick. Doesn't feel, didn't feel dry at all, actually. If I could choose, I would, I would have more moisture in, into it. I, I really would. So now I've made the face wet and I'm applying the same lather as before. So what, what will that do to slickness? What will that do to moisture content? What will that do to uh, stability of the leather? We shall see. We shall see. Okay, against the grain. Pretty good, pretty slick. I need to hone the razor again. I don't like doing that because I think it's scary. You know, I'm not gonna go up. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. One of those days where, you know, don't push it. Yeah, not quite sharp enough. But, but the leather's still there, it's very thin. And if I leave it on for very long, it's gonna go away. Low battery. Oh, I'm struggling today. Woo, there you go. Is that the mailman? Hang on. There's probably just a leaf falling off a tree. Anything triggers that damn dog. Okay, so a little bit left, and there is a bit of soap left, so that's good. I need to rehone this and that that's done in the in the box. I think I'm doing it wrong. I'm gonna to have to reach out to Rich. Or rather read his old emails. But it's still slick, you know the yeah, it's not too bad. The water I apply to the face between the shaves is quite enough to sort of revitalize anything that might have dried off. So it's not a lot of soap left, but it's not, it's more, it's more that the soap 
dried a bit on me and it's very thin. Rather that than that it dissipates it. Very cool. So we're going to rinse, talk amongst yourselves. Oh, we're going to an amusement park today. That's sort of the first, that kind of thing we've done in a year and a half. And it's still, you know, it's restricted. You have slot time for entering, so there's not too many people. And um, yeah, but it will be fun. I may even go on a few rides. if there's anything left in the in the brush there's a bit see if it's any good yeah not fantastic but there you go there you go that's not foam that's lather it's not a and e lather but it it is lather so williams piece of cake when I apply Justin's method, it's going to be even greater. Or it's going to go to hell. We'll see. Um, sayonara. See you soon and stay sharp.